One, two, three. There you go. <laughs> Gordon Campbell may want to keep that shovel handy. The Premier was in the Okanagan this week making construction of the new West Side Road overpass official and at the same time holding a caucus strategy session where no doubt the menu will include how is BC Liberals are going to dig themselves out of the HST hole? And judging by the latest polls, they have some work to do. The latest Angus Reid poll has the Liberals slipping in popularity, down to 23%, only half of the support Carol James and the NDP are enjoying, as the anger over the HST continues to boil over. Campbell admits the latest poll results are not encouraging. Well, I, to be honest, I'm not too surprised. I think that we've seen that the people People have been very concerned about how the HST was introduced and we've been aware of that for some time. I think you always have to do what you think is right and in the best interest of British Columbians. But there's no question in my mind we have a, a lot of work to re-establish and restore trust between British Columbians and the government and I, we've got some time to do that but we've got to get to work at it. He says his government was under pressure to get the ball rolling on the HST. We had uh, some real deadlines we had to meet. You know what we wanted to do was protect our children from long-term debt uh, that they didn't have to incur. We wanted to protect health and education services and we wanted to have a taxation regime that would make us one of the most competitive places in the world to generate investment and generate jobs. Uh, that's what we said in the election. It's been challenging, no question about it. We could have done a lot better. The new HST kicked in July 1st and is expected to generate about two and a half billion dollars a year. In West Kelowna, Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.